We're learning new information tonight about how much the migrant crisis is costing Chicago. And who is getting paid to take care of the new arrivals? CBS 2 Sabrina Franza has been digging into the numbers. Sabrina, what are we learning? Well, the city says it's paid $138 million to various vendors. That's between October of last year until today. All that to help support new arrivals making their way to Chicago. For perspective, though, that is more money than budgeted to fund the Chicago Public Library in 2024. The three largest recipients of that money, Favorite Healthcare Staffing, a healthcare staffing firm, over $93 million. Equitable Social Solutions, a company that works in homelessness prevention and housing support, $19 million. And family-owned food service company, Open Kitchens, $15 million. The city's public data portal suggests that between September and today, the Johnson administration paid $53.9 million to support the crisis. But on a trip to D.C. back in November, Mayor Brendan Johnson told reporters the city was spending $40 million a month. The $40 million that it's costing the city of Chicago every single month to provide care um, for, for these individuals who are seeking asylum, um, that, that, is, that is not sustainable. Lots to look into here. We're still working to find out any other costs the city has paid in support of this issue. We do know that some of the funding for these vendors came from FEMA and some came in the form of grant money from the state of Illinois. In the newsroom, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.